I'm making my way to an open-sided shelter where a very special locomotive is housed. This is a working replica of the world's first steam locomotive designed by Richard Trevithick, a Cornish inventor and mining engineer, which was built in 1802 at Colebrookdale in the Ironbridge Gorge, Telford, Shropshire. This is the only working replica in the world and was constructed in 1989-90 by a team of nine apprentices working at GKN Sankey in Telford. It was unveiled in July 1990 at Blists Hill Victorian Town, which was founded in 1967 and represents a small industrial town in the period between 1890 and 1910. This is well worth a visit as there's so much to see and I'll put a link of my visit there in the video description. The world's first iron bridge had been erected over the River Severn at Colebrookdale in 1779 an area considered to be the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution. I've always found researching Richard Trevithick difficult, as there seem to be conflicting views about what and when. There is no doubt the Colebrookdale Company built a rail locomotive for Trevithick in 1802, but it's not known whether it actually ran due to the death of a workman associated with it. The known information about this engine comes from a drawing held at the Science Museum in London, together with a letter written by Trevithick. The design incorporated a single horizontal cylinder enclosed in a return flue boiler. A flywheel drove the wheels on one side through spur gears and the axles were mounted directly on the boiler with no frame. The piston rod, guide bars and crosshead are located directly above the firebox door, making the engine extremely dangerous to fire while moving. Also in 1802, Trevithick built a high-pressure steam engine for the Penny Darren Ironworks in Merthyr Tidville, South Wales, to drive a hammer. A year later that was mounted on wheels and turned into a locomotive. Samuel Homfrey, the proprietor of the ironworks, was so impressed with the locomotive that he made a 500 guineas bet with another ironmaster, Richard Crawshay, that it could haul 10 tons of iron along the Penny Darren tramway. On 21st February 1804, amid great public interest, it successfully carried 10 tonnes of iron, 5 wagons and 70 men the full distance in 4 hours and 5 minutes at an average speed of approximately 2.4 miles per hour. This was the start of a worldwide revolution in the transport industry. There is a working replica of the Penny Darren locomotive commissioned in 1981 at the National Waterfront Museum in Swansea, Wales, which is demonstrated several times a year on a short length of track. The configuration of the Penny Darren engine differed from the Colebrookdale engine as the cylinder was moved to the other end of the boiler so that the fire door was out of the way of the moving parts. Prior to building the Colebrookdale loco, Trevithick had built and demonstrated his steam-powered road carriage, Puffing Devil, in Camborne, Cornwall, in 1801. Trevithick seems to be a less well-known figure than Stevenson or Brunel, and yet was ahead of their time. <laughs>